Hello all, it's your girl Tiffany, Madam Luscious Black Beauty, your Poetic Psychic Pisces, High Priestess, aka the light that shines like a diamond, also known as your modern day nun, one whom isn't within a coven, a convent, or a covenant. I do thank you all for listening and for watching on tonight. If you would be so kind to please like, share, and subscribe, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. This is going to be a general reading for the overall collective of any zodiac sign. So please take the messages that apply, leave the ones that do not. And without any further ado, guys, we're going to get into tonight's reading. Um, also remember that these messages may apply to your past, your present, or your future, as well as it may be pertaining to you, your lover, your family, your friends, your co-workers, your neighbors, complete strangers, or any and everyone in between that you may or may not know. So with that being said, guys, let's go through these overall clarifiers before your reading. So we have here Swindler so behind the pulpit. What's done in the dark? Prostitution operation. Wickedness in high places. Beast system 666. Disgrace, greed, and generational curses. And human traffickers. Okay? Abductors, kidnappers, what have you. Okay, guys. So, obviously, um, this has something to do with a pastor, okay? Um, obviously, who is sneaking and creeping around, doing some things behind the scenes, behind closed doors, in darkness, okay? Something that's tied into some criminal activity, okay? Um, that has to do with prostitution, um, money, um, trafficking, various different things, okay? Okay? is going on in the situation so let's just get the, uh, to the uh, the clarifiers for these overall messages here okay so when i clarify um a swindler behind the pulpit i have masculine man here okay so whomever this pastor is is a a masculine okay i also have here um my alter ego card here okay there's something about this minister um th this this he's either under some type of demonic possession or he's either dealing with some type of um personality disorder or bipolar disorder okay or there's something like this person has mood swings swift changes identity issues okay um he has a lot of different characters to him, okay? Um, there, he, he has a sense of like a shattered type of reality or perception, okay? Mur multiple personality, okay? But it can also be demonic possession if he's into some very wicked, evil things, okay? I also have here my manly man card here. Whomever this is, he may be a big coffee drinker or a big caffeine drinker. So coffee, teas, energy drinks, sodas, or something like that. He is the manly man type, okay? Um, he may have a mustache and a beard, okay? He may um, have a full head of hair or appear to have a full head of hair. He may wear a hair piece, okay? He's a businessman though, okay? He's kind of he's 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 mean and surly, okay? He's not so much affectionate. He actually drinks beer, okay? Um as well. Possibly even liquor, okay? He's very strong though. He's hard working, he's tough guts, he's very harsh, um a bit temperamental. He's an outdoors type of guy. At least he um that's a part of his character, okay? He could be an owner of something, okay? Um as well so to clarify what's done in the dark here well i have the my lgbtq community multi-lovers card here okay so whomever this um minister or a pastor is whether he is um no matter what his title is okay whether he's a reverend or a, a bishop or a pastor or a priest or like whatever his official title is um Spirit is telling me that this person sneaks and creeps around a lot in the, behind the scenes, behind closed doors, in darkness here, okay? And with this LGBT community multi-lovers card coming out here, he's likely bisexual or is secretly gay, okay? Um, he is 
intermingling, having sexual relations with either gay men or transgenders, okay? Cross-dressers, drag queens, something like that, okay? But he's definitely secretly having sexual relations with persons within the gay community, which makes him a part of the gay community himself, okay? He is into a lot of sinister things here, okay? Because I also have here my Not Today Satan card, but this is my spell work Not Today Satan card, okay? So he's into some type of dark arts, witchcraft, sorcery, black magic, voodoo, hoodoo, hexes, curses, okay, root work, okay, sex magic, love spells, and, and what have you, okay? He definitely practiced the dark arts here, okay? Um, there's a lot of things that's hidden about this pastor, okay? We have here, pick your poison card here, okay? So there are sexual things, okay? I feel like he has a lot of addictions, okay? Um, sex addictions, drug addictions, alcohol addictions, money addictions, okay? He's definitely a liar, uh, a cheater, um, a, a thief, okay? He could have even um, killed before here, okay? Um, he definitely do some type of partying in secret. He has been prone to violence behind closed doors as well. Um, he could have a porn addiction as well uh, as gambling, okay? To clarify prostitution operation, we have here the moon, okay? So this speaks to criminal activity, obviously. Things that are hidden, things that are secret, things that um, sneaky, freaky, creepy, low down and dirty, um, do ends that's done behind the scenes, behind closed doors, behind certain person's back, okay? The moon also speaks to decisions being made, things being done in darkness, okay? Um, witchery, secrets, rituals, what's done in the dark, nighttime, the past, dilemmas, okay? Um, the moon speaks to various different things, but I feel like with the moon sitting here on prostitution operation, this minister... Um, I feel like this is more than just this minister paying for prostitutes, sex with prostitutes. I feel like this, because I had sex ring is on the back of this cart here, okay? So if he was just, say, um, paying for sex or something like that or whatever, which he, he may also do, but... Um, I feel like there's criminal activity, like he's a part of this operation. He could be overseeing this prostitution operation, running this prostitution operation, um, but he is heavily involved with this prostitution operation nonetheless here, yeah. And it's for the purposes of money with the Will of Fortune card here. This speaks to finances, money, resources, okay? This is a source of income that he has that is secret, that is hidden, okay? This prostitution operation, this criminal activity that he's involved in behind the scenes, behind closed doors. But with the Tower card here, I feel like there's about to be a sudden upheaval. A sudden shakeup of things, okay? There's going to be something, some type of tragic news or tragic information, okay? There's going to be some type of sudden chaos, okay? Something is going to happen all of a sudden out the blue, out of nowhere. There's going to be a disruptions, deceptions, destructions, um, harm even, okay? This uh, tower card could include murder, death, harm, destruction, lies, injuries, in, uh, illnesses, okay? It could speak to... A multitude of different things but with this tower card being here sitting here with the will of fortune and the moon here i feel like something may get exposed this prostitution operation and being connected to this minister this pastor may get leaked out get exposed in some type of way there's about to be a sudden upheaval of something something shocking something tragic something chaotic okay it's going to happen all of a sudden okay the thing that interests me with wickedness in high places here, I do feel like whoever this swindler uh, behind the pulpit is, which is this minister, I feel like he is a part of some type of secret society or secret organization. I feel like he um, is not doing all of these things on his own, okay, in the term of business and making money, okay? I do feel like he's a part of some type of secret society, satanic cult, witch coven, okay? He mixes and mingles amongst the satanic powers that be, okay? Elite persons in power, okay? What interests me about this is I got the Monarch programming card here. 
whomever this minister is, this pastor is, whatever his title is officially, he's under some sort of mind control. He is actually being... Um, like, he's under some sort of mind control that's like manipulating the entirety of everything that this person is in, is a part of, okay? I definitely feel like this minister run, rule, and control things on his own, but those, there are persons that he is, um, tangled with who is higher than he, who is more wealthy than he, that's on some uh, alleged supposed elite level, okay, who has this, who is controlling this person, is who this person is sold out to, okay, this minister is under some type of mind control or brainwashing or MK Ultra. okay, um, there's definitely some type of uh, manipulation and control over this person by the powers that be, okay, so we have here, so you rich, huh? But are you a real one that sits here on wickedness in high places? Okay, this is on my run the world card here. Okay, so I, like I said, he's definitely mixing it and mingling amongst other individuals who are very, very wealthy and high in power. Okay, big, uh, big spenders, flashy, stuck up, bougie, privileged type of bosses okay um very wealthy persons big baller shot caller types boss move type okay um stunt and front end kind of stingy type okay even with all their wealth um it's persons that spirit is saying he's partners in crime with okay these people come together and they make certain plots plans schemes they they scheme up their deceptions okay they're a whole crime mob okay and it's multiples of them this is what leads me to believe that this person is a part of some type of secret society or satanic cult of some kind to clarify disgrace, greed, and generational curses, we have here, shh, some things are best kept secret. So, of course, all of these things that's going on behind the scenes, behind closed doors, is like, it's top secret, it's classified here, okay? That's, you know, don't ask, don't tell type of thing. See no evil, hear no evil, speak of no evil, okay? And even those of them who are in the know, um, you know, close their eyes, turn their back, you know, to turn it, you know, a blind eye to what is going on this minister i also believe is under has taken some type of oath or signed some type of satanic contract okay this person has been forced into silence okay pressured not to say a word about anything okay which this person wouldn't with without incriminating themselves in the first place that's the reason why it sits here on disgrace greed and generational curses here okay so we also have karmic here. So this minister is definitely a karmic. Spirit is saying this person is, is manipulative, is deceiving, is full of drama. This person is also very, uh, is kind of codependent, okay? And I feel like that stems from the addictions and the toxicity and the bad habits, okay? This person can come off as childish at times, uh, possibly when they're angry, okay? Um, a hater, annoying, emotional abuser, a heartbreaker, okay? Wicked, evil, mean, ignorant, bad attitude, aggressive, a liar, a bully, okay? Um, this person can also come off as very crazy as well here, okay? We have the high priestess here, okay? So this speaks to a higher power, secret societies, occultic knowledge, okay? Information, authority, elites, okay? The divine, secret, hidden things, okay? Um, so this, this minister holds some type of secret knowledge, secret information, and is also a part of a secret society. This person is very manipulative and deceiving, though, um, being the karmic that they are. They definitely hold dear a lot of secret hidden things, okay? Um, because plain and simply, this person is a sellout. Plain and simply for the purposes of finances, money, and resources, greed, obviously, here. This person is involved in a lot of very... A sinister things okay to clarify human traffickers we have here the pizza card here this actually speaks to um abuse shipping prostitution human trafficking abductions porn okay um in uh individuals in cages kidnappings okay the sex trade satanic ritual abuse even sex rings here okay this person is this minister is in it, that's what i was telling you with this prostitution operation 
it goes hand in hand with this human trafficking here, okay? Th this person is making big business off of this. He is in connections with higher people in power, but they are running some type of, the satanic powers that be, rather, the elites are running a whole prostitution or one um, avenue of it. Okay, because I feel like there's various different branches all over the place of um, this human trafficking and prostitution operations and sex rings and different things like that. Okay, they have this pastor who is running a whole prostitution operation. Okay, this could actually be being ran out of this person's church or something that this person is connected to okay this prostitution operation and human traffickers here persons are coming up missing persons are being abducted um being sold into sex slavery okay yeah we also have here the secret hidden treasure island card here which also speaks to trafficking shipping operations okay money drugs weapons of mass destruction here okay we also have the ace of swords as well as the moon that sits here okay so some type of truth or clarity is coming out um about something that was hidden that was secret okay that has been going on and that could be what this tower is all about here. Yeah, we got the devil here, okay? So the devil speaks to toxic persons, places, and things, okay? Bad habits, addictions, addictive patterns of behavior. Spirits say evil is as evil does. does. Witch covens, satanic cults, secret societies, witches and warlocks, devil worshippers, elite satanic powers that be, people playing with demons, dark arts, black magic, voodoo, secret societies, individuals who have sold out, okay? A lot of very dark and sinister, evil, wicked things are going on, okay? And I do feel like something is about to collapse, like something is about to happen. And this minister, this pastor is about to be exposed um, hand in hand with this prostitution operation as well as human trafficking, okay? The interesting thing about this is I know that this person has partners in crime that they are with. Like, I don't feel like this is something that this pastor is doing solely on their own, okay? Yet, I feel like when when this is comes out, this person is going to be the main, per, the main face behind what is going on. You understand? Okay, guys? So, let's, let's get some further clarification here. Spirit, clarify uh, Swindler behind the pulpit. Swindler behind the pulpit. So we have mature man here, okay? So this is an older man. This is going to be someone who is older than 50 years old, okay? This um, masculine, okay? I'm telling you, there's something... This person has some type of underlined mental health issues that have gone untreated, unknown, un... un you know, um, rectified in any type of way, okay? Or this, 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 or this person is under demonic possession here, okay? But there's like, I feel like there's like multiple sides to this person. Like this person, on the surface, like it, it depends on who they're around, okay? To their congregation. Okay, persons that may attend this person's church, they may come off as sweet or charming or godly or righteous and different things like that. But this person can be like a whole beast. Like this person, this person is under some type of demonic possession. This person also has some type of alter ego or multiple personal analyses, okay? But this person is also heavily under mind control, highly triggerable, okay? And has been brainwashed in some type of way, shape, form, or fashion. Spirit, clarify what's done in the dark. Okay, so yeah, we have the lover's card here, okay? So this person is involved in a lot of things behind the, uh, closed doors, okay? With the fact, um, with, with, with cheating, with adultery, with fornications here, okay? Witchcraft, sorcery, black magic, voodoo, as well, you know, sex, drugs, money, lying, cheating, stealing, like all kinds of stuff this person is involved in behind the scenes, behind closed doors. Spirit, clarify prostitution operation. This prostitution operation is bringing in great fortune, Spirit is saying. Spirit, clarify wickedness in high places. 
these persons that he, yeah, these persons that he is partners in crime with, they're sitting up in concern right now. This is number 33, okay? So this this minister, this pastor belongs to some type of brotherhood, okay? It's partners in crime in this whole prostitution operation, human trafficking operation, okay? There are some very wealthy, prominent people high up in power who are sitting in concern right now, worried right now, okay? Because they know something is about to be exposed or come out in some type of way, shape, form, or fashion, okay? Yeah, spirit is saying that this person is a false person, which is interesting, okay? Because if you look at this high priestess card, you see how this person's hiding their self? Don't you see on this false person card how they're hiding their self? This person is wearing a mask. They're not who they appear to be, okay? This person is very manipulative and deceiving. They're a liar, cheater, deceiver, manipulator, con artist, okay? This person is mean and surly. They're wicked. They're evil. They're aggressive. They have a bad attitude. They're demonic, okay? But they put on different faces they're different characters depending on who they're around but person spirit is saying that this person is just as fake funny and fraudulent as they want to be okay they're they're wearing a mask they're not who they appear to be okay spirit clarify um human traffickers clarify human traffickers please hmm So we have mm, mm, mm. journey, child, community wants to come out. I feel like they have, this person has been involved. Um, theft. These are abductions that's taken place of children, okay? As well as young women. It's not even just children, you know, young children. That's being abducted and coming up missing. Journey, child, thief, main female. Spirit, what else is on this human trafficking? Okay. Imprisonment. They're being um, imprisoned in some type of way. Locked in cages. Remember that card said locked in cages here? They've been trafficked. They're making a lot of money off of this operation and something is about to something is about to happen and i feel like they're going to kill off a lot of the ones that they have locked in cages okay because something is about to happen something is going to be exposed okay sudden wealth here there's a lot of money that is coming out of uh from this 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 operation here okay we got official person high honor and message at the bottom of the deck here as well as house oh my goodness these official persons these could be police officers detectives agents fbi cia um this could be any persons in government, okay? But there are official persons of high honor who have received some type of message, news, information, or communication pertaining to a house, okay? That is holding victims in this house here, okay? And they're going to... That could be what this tower is about. Something is about to be exposed. This prostitution operation is about to be exposed of this pastor here. Okay, they, they, they're hiding these persons, children, as well as, and this is girls, little girls, little boys, as well as older, um, like, like teens to 20s and things like that, of older persons as well, that's being held in some type of, um, they're imprisoned in some type of way, they're in cages, maybe in somebody's basement or something like that or whatever, but it's at this huge house here okay whoever these official persons and high honor have received some type of message news information communication about something going on at this house here okay we got poverty in the community that sits in behind that okay change here something is about to happen okay they could start trying to either get those get those victims out of there or either kill them off so nothing is found when authorities come but something major is going down. Spirit clarify swindler behind the pulpit. So we got a scholar here. Whoever this person is, is a scholar here. They're a specialist in their field of study. This person could have degrees, could be into academics, could be highly knowledgeable or educated or something like that. Spirit clarify what's done in the dark. Clarify what's done in the dark. Oh my gosh. 
So we have here a uh, pleasure seeker. This person is a pleasure seeker. They do things for their own amusement, their own enjoyment, their own liking, ill will, desire, okay? You see them here with all these men here, lovers, okay? Prostitution operation here, okay? With the servants here. Spirit clarify wickedness in high places. Wickedness in high places. So we have the enemy here. Okay, they are all conversating amongst themselves here. Okay, all these persons, these, these wickedness in high places, they're they have gathered together and they're in concern right now, they're discussing something right now. Okay, because something has shocked them, something has surprised them, or something is going to shock or surprise them. Okay, yeah, priest here, ordained minister. Okay, whether this person can go by priest, pastor, minister, bishop, or whatever. Also, y'all, that building, that house, that could be a church. That could be the basement of a church. This could be a priest. You see that building back there? There are persons being caged underground. Spirits say they are disgraced. They're part of this for their own sexual deviances, for money. Spirit, any other messages here on this this false person? Yeah. Yeah, now they're sitting up in despair. Whoever this priest is, this minister is, is sitting in sorrow, sitting in despair over the situation here. Okay? Yeah, we got the merchant card here. Which literally talks about, they've also been doing some type of dealings with foreign countries. Okay, wholesale trade. This is literally trafficking. Yeah, we got service here, which talks about individuals working for someone. I told you this pastor's been working for someone, helping someone, doing some type of job. They could, I'm telling you, they may be getting ready to start killing off. They have gotten word from individuals higher up. To kill off these victims. Yeah. Once again, house. Wherever they at, they've gotten some type of word to kill off these victims before authorities come. Whether this is an actual house or mansion or something like that. Or this is some type of big church or something. When they're being held underground. Look at this. Don't that look like the same building? Misfortune here. Okay. They may set it to fire. They may set it ablaze, set it afire to kill all the victims inside. Yep. To kill all the victims inside. Yep. They're deep in their thoughts, in their head about this. Military, those official persons that we've seen at the bottom of the deck, that could be military, okay? Because it seems like this may be a pretty big operation. This could be military. Yeah. There's a whole lot of money involved. With Fortune being at the bottom of the deck, there's a lot, a lot of money involved in this situation, though. Yeah. This minister has been making a lot of money off of this operation. Okay? A lot of money has been made off of this operation. Thief here. This person has assisted or uh, abducted a lot of people, hurt a lot of persons. Okay? Okay? Force them into prostitution, the sex trade here, okay? Somebody is also being held in some type of room here and just sitting and waiting. Spirit is saying this person is a foe, though, okay? They're they're the enemy. They're an opponent. This is per this person is not who they appear to be. This person has received some type of messages or con of concern, though, from his counterparts, from his partners in crime. You got young women, young men in there, 
children there's a lot going on here y'all this is going to be huge the situation here okay let's pull some tara and see what else is going on spirit please give us clear and accurate messages Okay, guys. Spirit, give us clear messages. Oh, gosh. Mm, 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 mm. They're going to be... Uh, somebody has ordered the death of some young people. These are the first two cards that wanted to come out. Death and the Page of Pentacles. Or either there's a death being put to this money that's been coming in to this pastor here, okay? Who has been lying, cheating, stealing, sneaking, creeping, trying to get away with something here. Okay? Spirit, clarify what, uh, what's done in the dark. What's done in the dark. Mm -mm, got the moon card here. Okay? Sneaking, creeping around. Okay? Things that's hidden, things that's secret, things that's done behind the scenes, behind closed doors. Yeah, Spirit say that's the truth. Spirit say that's the truth, that that's clarity. What this minister has been up to, okay? But there's about to be a major upheaval, okay? Something is about to happen suddenly, abruptly, okay? Yeah. Yeah. And something, whatever this this prostitution operation that this this minister had going on, there's got to be a finalizing of something. Something has gone full circle, okay? Something is coming to an end, okay? With this emperor here, because some type of judgment or decision has been made here, okay? Yeah, we got the devil here, the magician here. A lot of sinister, satanic, masonic, demonic shit been going on behind the scenes. They've been conjuring up some type of witchcraft, sorcery, black magic, voodoo that they've been doing. I told you, whoever this minister is, this pastor is, this person is like under some type of demonic possession. This person is partners in crime with some higher ups, okay? But they have betrayed this pastor probably in an effort to save themselves, what it looks like. Because we've got the devil, magician, and the ten of swords, okay? So there's been some type of ultimate betrayal here, okay? And that's the reason why this pastor, this, this priest here, this pastor is in sorrow, is in despair here, okay? Because they'd have been betrayed in some type of way. They feel stuck, restricted, unable to move. They could be about to get locked up, okay? Because this situation, something has caused some type of conflict here. There's a lot of fighting, fussing, cussing, arguments, disagreements going on behind the scenes, behind closed doors. This person may feel like this is unfair here. Yeah, you got the Ace of Coins, the Three of Coins, and the Ten of Coins here, okay? This pastor has received a whole lot of money, but this person worked in collaboration with others to make the Ten of Coins here, to make a whole, I mean, this is a million dollar, billion dollar operation that's going on here, guys, okay? But now that there's competition, now they got competition amongst each other, okay? And it's like every man for themselves here. And it looks like the individual is higher up than this pastor or ha that has more money. This pastor has betrayed this pastor in some type of way here, okay? Because now there's some type of competition, jealousy, envy, okay? Spitefulness, hatefulness, betrayal here going on here. And it's caused some type of heartache and heartbreak in this situation. Yeah. Because now somebody is being left out in the cold. Somebody is being neglected here. Abandoned. In some type of way. Yeah, this higher thing here. This pastor. This minister. This priest. Whatever their official title is. Yeah. But this person knows secret knowledge. Secret information here. Cultic knowledge here. So even if they get there and they arrest this person, apprehend this person, I wouldn't even doubt if they try to kill this person. Because this person 
this person got the scoop on everybody. They keep on doing this shit, but this this is this is somebody who got the scoop on every damn body. This is the same type of thing. This is the same thing they did with Epstein. Considering the fact that these birds of a feather flock together, okay? So all these isolated few that you see um, here, there, or whatever. Hold on, guys. All these isolated few that you see randomly here and there, okay? But the real big heavy hitters above them, you know what I'm saying? Because they done busted individuals who we know is 33 degree masons. They done busted individuals who we know is a part of the brotherhood. They done busted individuals who we know wealthy than a son of a bitch. But it's individuals who even higher than those. Those are them who 33rd in the third degree. You know what I'm saying? They get the extra degree because they special and shit. You know what I'm saying? Those are them who way more wealthy. Like those persons is wealthy, but they way more wealthy than even them. They don't never be touched, but we know that they are part of this shit too. You understand what I'm saying? So you have to ask yourself. When you bust in, when, 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 when you see scandalous shit go on with individuals who are millionaires and billionaires and shit like that. They, who you think they mix and mingle with? Other millionaires and billionaires. Okay? A lot of shit, most people sh that, that, that shit is a part, people are a part of and do. What most people don't think about is the fact that it's learned behavior. Okay? It don't matter what you do in your life, what you like in your life, what you have been a part of, even if you don't do it no more. You understand what I'm saying? Some people like to call it peer pressure or, or even if it isn't peer pressure, it was something that you learned or something that you was taught or a way that you were raised. Everything that you do is learned behavior. You understand what I'm saying? Whether one want to look at it as right, wrong, or indifferent. You understand what I'm saying? Why? Because most things that if you, that if you wasn't introduced to, seen, heard about, was shown or taught it, you wouldn't have any inkling about it. Like you wouldn't know anything about it. Thus, you would not have the mind frame to do it. That means that everything that you do, it is learned behavior. You either seen it somewhere, you was taught it from somebody, you were shown it from somebody. It was peer pressure, you picked it up from somebody else. Or whatever it is, it's learned behavior. You understand what I'm saying? You can take a child, okay? If you took a child and raised them in a, and raised this child in a house where they never heard, or even in anywhere in the, from their house to anywhere they ever went in their life, they never heard profanity. This child is not going to use profanity. And you take another child, and not to say that this child is being mistreated or abused or anything, but say you take another child who has heard profanity before. Now, this child may know right from wrong, okay, at some point in time to know, hey, this is a bad word. Don't use those words. That's why they sneak and do it. You ever see somebody do something, but they sneak and do it? It's because they know they should be doing it. You understand what I'm saying? But this child will use profanity, when this child that was raised around profanity or heard profanity before, and it don't even matter. It don't even have to come from a family. It could come from friends. It could come from going to school and hearing people that they go to school with walk down the hall saying those type of things. It could come from the TV. It can come from a video game. It could come from anywhere. So they don't have to be like bad people around a person. All I'm telling you is, is the most things that's in people's life is learned behavior. The first time you ever had an alcoholic beverage or smoked a cigarette or smoked a blunt, it was suggested to you. You like the certain type of foods that you like now because at some point it was introduced to you. But can you remember before when you did not eat that? Hmm? Everything in your life is learned behavior. I was, I was in my 30s before I ever ate shrimp a day before in my life. Certain seafood I just did not like. It didn't look good. It didn't smell good to me or whatever. So I didn't try it. Very picky eater. Okay. And I'm not really big on a whole lot of meat. So I'm like very picky on different meats or whatever. But it ended up being like a neighbor's um, 
like little birthday celebration at, at home. And they was doing like something outside or whatever. It had made a whole bunch of shrimp and different things like that. And it was off offered to me. And so I didn't want to be rude. So I just got a few just to make it seem like I was going to eat some. And I just like accidentally tried some. And I said, let me dip this in this little sauce here and at least take a bite. And ended up liking it. And been eating shrimp ever since. You understand what I'm saying? It's an example, y'all. But that's learned behavior. Like certain things in your life. Everything in your life. At some point, it was introduced to you. Yeah, I had seen shrimp before then. Seen plenty of people eat shrimp before then. But I had always looked at shrimp and like, ugh, that probably don't taste good. It looked like it's bland. Like it don't taste like anything. You understand what I'm saying? And it just took me. It, it, it's amazing. How your taste buds change. Like different things change. You understand what I'm saying? It was, I hate, I was the person, you ever growing up certain shit you don't like? I was, my, my, um, my brother was the no cheese all his life. No cheese. I was the no onions. Okay. I hated onions. I hated peppers, mushrooms, anything like that that was mushy or slimy or anything like that. Y'all, it wasn't until I was pregnant. So I crave the hell out of onions. To this day, I eat onions and, and, and peppers and black olive shit that I went my entire freaking life without eating. That I felt like was absolutely disgusting. You understand what I'm saying? But it's learned behavior. So the point of the matter is, is everything in a person's life is learned behavior. So I said that to say this. Is when you see these people and you think they be random isolated events when you see certain shit go on and it be so scandalous as ooh and ha ah, and oh such and such got in trouble for such and such and oh it's a big scandal and it's it's all over the tabloids and it's all in the news and it's breaking news and it's all over the web and it's the broke the web and shit like that. But you don't look around to see who they mix and mingle with, who they friends with. Who they cool with? They all are part of the same shit. But nobody ever asked themselves, how come it is that those of them who are the highest don't ever come down? What you're not telling me, because what you then would have to say then is that these people are the only people in the world. Not only are they in the shadows and in the hiding, but they righteous pillars of the community. They don't break any laws. They don't commit any crimes. They don't do any wrong or anything. And we know that that is a lie. But your very justice system, your very, uh, uh, every, every level of government that you can name, okay, from national security to the Department of Defense, Department of Justice, the CIA, the FBI, the military, all of them people, you can name it, even NASA, protects the satanic powers that be, protects the big banksters. Okay, the ones that create the money, the ones that own the Federal Reserve, the ones that 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 own the banking systems and all that shit. They protect them. You understand what I'm saying? And a lot of these times, these people that you see who are high up in power, who they are sold out to, they sell out. Whether you want to say they sold it, sold or not, which they have. Because these are part of their codes and their oaths and different shit that they take. Okay, but on a more mundane level. At the surface, they are selling out to the satanic powers that be, okay? The rulers and the supposed masters, okay? Of this world. It's who they sell out to. And if they have to be, if they have been introduced into such things, and they are partake in such things, you understand what I'm saying? We got a card here that says, partners in crime. But I'm telling you, this pastor is liable to be the only one. That goes down for this. Or whoever they choose that's directly connected to him or working for him. Because these big wigs here that's high up in power, that's sitting in concern here, these were very wealthy persons here, the very ones that's got this pastor, this minister under mind control in the first place that they partners in crying with. They sitting back doing hocus pocus bullshit right now on this person to say they damn self. You, the devil with the magician and the ten of swords? You go ask another reader what the hell it means since you don't want to listen to me. Since somehow I must be lying. But what pisses me off about this shit is this, this, this minister, pastor, priest, whatever you want to call him is not in this alone. You understand what I'm saying? And it don't matter. 
Do, whether you say Epstein or whether you say Weinstein or whether you say Bill Cosby or whether you say R. Kelly or whether you say, uh, 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 the, the, what was the guy from Subway, the Jerry guy? Hmm? It's been plenty of them. It's been plenty of them. Huh? The Wiener guy? What's his name? Like Anthony Wiener? Like it's been plenty of them. You understand what I'm saying? But do you honestly think that they woke up one day and just just decided that, you know, I'm going to be nasty, freaky, low down, dirty, filthy ass pervs? Or did they learn that from somewhere? And do they mix and mingle with others? That's into the same shit. That's what I'm talking about. You understand what I'm saying? Of course it's scandalous. And it's a big deal when you put solely their face on some shit. But somehow, everybody else that they connected to, seemingly, just don't matter. You know, and then all of they damn handlers triggered in to turn their backs on these persons that they decided, that the satanic powers that beat and decided to betray and put on damn blast to get over on them for whatever the fuck reason. It's all a setup, y'all, is what I'm telling y'all. It's all a setup. It's all staged as events. Cause I'm, I'm I I I apologize, but when it comes to the to the CIA, the FBI, the military, these are not no dumb, ignorant individuals. Okay. They know some shit, and they got plenty uh, of, uh, of technology and 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 weaponry and all type of shit at their disposal. Okay. You ain't telling me that they don't know the real culprits behind all of these major operations, all of these billion dollar operations, like human trafficking, drug trafficking, and all of these things. You understand what I'm saying? So like, be for real. But this right here, this right here is it's like many of them going to take a big hit on this one right here. Because I feel like this is, this is, um... One of the one of the more bigger prostitution human trafficking operations that's getting ready to calm down. But the the front runner face that they got going to have on this is this pastor, this priest, this minister, this bishop, whoever the hell his title is. Okay, I do I do know he holds a position within a church. Okay, so whether he goes by priest, a pastor, or reverend, or 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 minister, or a bishop, or whatever his official title is, he is going to be the front runner's face on the entire scandal. When he's got partners in crime. But his partners in crime is sitting back behind the scenes. On their demon time. On their devilish bullshit. Doing all kind of witchcraft, sorcery, black magic voodoo to cover their own damn ass. So they figure, like always, to cover themselves, they just betray the underdog. You know, it's nothing to them to betray the underdogs, to betray the foot soldiers, to betray their sellouts, their puppets. They brainwash them down under mind control as individuals that they get to go along with the dirty work here. Because Spirit said this, this, this ultimate betrayal here. That's why they sitting up here in, 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 in surprise and shocked by something here. With the enemy conversation in, in surprise, with concern. See, at this moment here, whatever partnership they had going on, all of these, all these jokers worried about is they damn self. But do you think this operation is going to end with the apprehension of this minister? I don't think so. I don't think so. Absolutely not. And they know it's not. And they know it's not. This will be like, this is like going to, to tear off a leaf on a flower and believing that that flower won't still go. This will be like going to tear off a petal, little piece of the flower, okay? If you're not pulling something up and out at its root, it is going to continue to grow. And that is the problem. But real talk here, 
because if you look at the rest of this just this bottom row here this up here exposes this 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 pastor priest minister whatever the title is okay the top row exposes this individual the bottom row breaks down the rest you got the devil with the magician with the ten of swords with the eight of swords with the five of swords with the ace of coins the three of coins the ten of coins the five of wands the three of swords the five of coins the higher friend which is the pastor here with the high priestess you understand me Okay. Now, if you don't listen to me, take a snapshot of this reading and you go and ask. You just seen me shuffle the cards. I didn't pick and choose on what cards to pull out. You go and ask another reader what in the hell this mean. Huh? If you just so happen not to want to believe me, go ahead. I, 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 I'm not even the type to hate on nobody else. You see what their interpretation is, okay? Because of this betrayal, this priest, this pastor, is stuck, about to be arrested or apprehended, okay? Why? Because some type of conflict has popped off. This whole little organization that they got going on, this disgraceful as operation they got going on, has caused a major problem that has been exposed here, okay? Now there's some type of conflict over all this money. So is it that this pastor is solely being betrayed by his counterparts, by his partners in crime, in an effort to steal all this money from him? That's what it looked like, because if you look over here, you got the five of wands. You don't went to the five of swords. The conflict starts with all of this money right here. Why is there conflict over this money? Competition. What does competition talk about? Jealousy. Envy. Huh? Jealousy and envy goes into spitefulness, revengefulness. Okay? What you got next? Three of swords, five of coins. Who I tell you, the three of swords talks about heartache, heartbreak. This is going to cause this, this pastor, this minister here, some type of heartache or heartbreak because they about to be apprehended. And be the only one to solely the one that goes down for this operation. Like they was running this shit alone. Okay? And they are the ones that's going to get left out on the call. So who you think going to keep all of this money here? None other than this wickedness in high places here. See, this is what I'm talking about. That's why I brought up that scenario to y'all. I'm not telling y'all no stories. I'm telling you the truth. You understand me? But this pastor here is now about to be left out in the call. You got the five of ones, three of swords, not a five of coins. Okay? But go back to where the conflict started. Where the conflict started here? The conflict started right here. And then you got a whole bunch of money right here. Ace of coins, three of coins, ten of coins. The three of coins talks about a collaboration. This talks about three or more people coming together to make all of this money. You understand me? Which lets you know that this pastor was not working alone. Okay? But he the one that's going to be left out in the cold. Abandoned. Neglected. Hmm? He the one that's going to end up stuck, restricted, unable to move, in prison by this operation here. Okay? But this hierophant, which is this preacher, knows the secret knowledge, secret information. Knows the occultic knowledge. Knows the secrets. To everything and everybody that's involved. You think they're going to let him live? Or they just going to Epstein him? See, Epstein been a lot of places and knew a lot of people too. Epstein had a whole ledger of all kinds of names and dates and times. A whole lot of people went over there to that island and rode on Lolita Express. That was the name of the plane. You see, and Epstein smooth, mysteriously, popped up dead. I guess you thought that was a coincidence, too. You think a man with that much money, that much arrogance, that fucking cocky killed himself? I think not. I think not. The man, like, literally, even if he was to stay locked up, he literally had enough damn money to live like a kingpin in prison. Eating the finest cuisine. Had enough money 
to pay, uh, uh, put money on other cell members' books to protect him, to pay COs more than the hell their salary is. Hell, had enough money more than what the hell the, 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 the damn warden even makes. To overlook him and watch him. But see, this is about the satanic powers that be. This is about the higher powers that damn be here, okay? And who their loyalty and their allegiances are made to. See, something like this pastor, just like, just like, just like Epstein. This person's testimony alone could really bring down a lot of people. See, they keep doing this thing time and time again. The craziness about this is, the more and more this happens, you will not have a government. You will not have a industry or anything. Because they all connect like dots, if the truth be told. And they know it. That's why it really don't make much sense for them to set up their own kind the way they do. And that's why you have to overstand the situation to that when this is happening, it is a decoy for something else that is going on behind the scenes. That's what I'm telling you. So when this here go down, It's going to be a decoy, a staged event to draw your attention to this while some other shit is going on on the ground or while some other shit is going on in the background. But then you best believe it's going to be some other shit going on while you are distracted by this. Because that's how they do I ain't the one to gossip. So you ain't heard that from me. But spirit say that what it is. Spirit clarify uh this swindler behind the pulpit. Mm-hmm. Transformation. They gonna kill him. They are going to kill him. They can't let this man speak. Huh? Why? He know the truth. He know the clarity. He know the secret knowledge, the occultic knowledge. He know everything. And it, mm -mm. that's why the death card, the seven of swords, he is a liar, cheater, and a thief. He is a, a, a snake and a creep. He is, he has been sneaking and creeping around and, and, and been involved in all types of things. But so has his partners in crime. They're going to kill him to keep him from speaking. Yeah, he been involved in homosexual activity. Yeah, he been involved with, 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 uh, uh, sinister things, malicious things, evil things, wicked things. Okay. Money, sex, drugs, alcohol. Okay. Lying, cheating, stealing, killing, and some more shit. Ain't nobody put him up on the pedestal like he an angel. All I'm telling you is he ain't working long. They're going to kill him. They're going to expose him and then they're going to kill him. Yeah, temptation here. Temptation. He got a whole lot of temptations, all kind of temptation. But he ain't got no more temp, uh, nasty, freaking, low down, dirty, do in type of temptation that's been swept under rugs and in closets and under covers than all the persons that he in connection with. You don't run no whole prostitution operation on your own. You don't run no operation on your own. You can't even run a military operation on your own. Huh? You ever seen a narcotics unit, one person in a narcotics unit run a whole operation on their own? There is nothing that's ever been called 
a operation that has been run solely by one damn person. So when y'all gonna stop letting these people bamboozle you and fool you? Spirit, clarify a uh, prostitution operation. Yeah. They've been sneaking and creeping in the back room, in the shadow, Spirit is saying. Yeah. But this wickedness in high places, they got to, they, they, they in concern about this. They got to cause a disruption. Huh? Disruptions. Yeah. I see mm -mm. partnership and alliances. Didn't I just tell you about their partnerships and their alliances and their allegiances and their oaths and their contracts and different shit? This is Masonic handshake here. Okay. Okay. This is here on uh. The, the, the disgrace, greed, and generational curses. Spirit, clarify human trafficking. Yeah. The truth is coming out. They trapped in fear now. Persons is trapped in fear about this. This pastor, this minister is trapped in fear because the truth is coming out about this. Hmm? Huh? Yeah. Conflict and defeat at the bottom of the deck. This whole situation has caused is going to cause conflict and defeat. Okay? This is what's going on, y'all. This is what's going on. These pages all over the place. Okay? Page of coins at the bottom of or excuse me, page of swords at the bottom of the deck here. The page of swords could speak to someone being brutally honest, cutthroat, ruthless. Uh, 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 um, this, the, 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 the page of source can also speak to, um, breaking news, gossip, rumors, accusations, okay, speculations and everything else, okay, but it's brutal, brutally honest things coming out and his wheel is turning. Mm -mm. That's what's going on with this situation, y'all. So I do hope that this is giving you the information and the communication that you needed, honey. For, uh, I, well, I would hope that you all are not going through or dealing with this situation. I know anyone who is, okay? But uh, this is the reading, just a reading to have you all in the know with what is going on here, okay? So I do hope that this gave you truth and clarity, okay? I thank you all for listening. I thank you all for watching. If you would be so kind to please like, share, and subscribe, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. For those of you who would like to contact me, you can do so at tip.diamond.36 at gmail.com. You can also follow me on Instagram at shinebrightlikeadiamond36 with the underscore between each word. For any persons who is interested in donating to the channel, it is greatly, greatly appreciated. I do thank you in advance. You can do so through Cash App, which is dollar sign tip diamond three six, or through PayPal, which is paypal.me slash at three six diamond. As always, guys, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, but most of all, take care of your babies. Remember, this is a wicked, wicked world that we live in. There is wickedness in high places, and there is evil that is lurking around each and every corner, even in a neighborhood near you. So y'all watch your surroundings. Watch the company you keep, watch the surroundings and the company in which your children are in as well. And considering the fact that you never know when someone may betray you, backstab you, try to hurt you, or harm you, honey, keep you some protection on you. Y'all stay awake, stay aware, stay vigilant, and stay prepared, because if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready, baby. Until the next time, peace, love, and light. Namaste. I am that I am created in the image of God. This minister is going to be exposed and eliminated. Assassin, executed for his money. But you best believe, as sure as I'm sitting here telling you this, this operation is going to continue to go on. The prostitution operation, as well as the human trafficking operation. So really and truly, um, this is a setup. 
to take uh, 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 down this person solely to steal their wealth. Okay? There's a lot of things that's going on, y'all. Okay? And they're doing a lot of things fast, quick, and in a hurry if you have not noticed. Okay? They got celebrities that's dying off like every day, y'all. Every day, every other day. Pay attention. Watch your news in various different areas. Some of y'all might not be finding out. You know, some of these celebrities, um, um, they may, you know, be, you know, sometimes they do more recent, more up-to-date, new school type of celebrities every once in a while. You know what I'm saying? They have the old school celebrities in there and, you know, various different people from different areas, okay? And a lot of times those, you know, go under the radar. Nobody really cares that much or really pays attention because, oh, they was on and popping way back in the day and such and such. They are still celebrities, okay? And if you think they are still not under the radar and being watched and different things like that by the satanic powers that be, once you're in the industry, you in the industry. It doesn't matter if you're still an A-list celebrity or not, Okay? When they come for you, they come for you. That's what that is. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of time, all the uh, ranting and raving and, and, and blogging and all this that shit um, only happens with, with you know, very prominent persons who uh, happen to be A-listers. You know what I'm saying? Um, at the present time here, okay? But y'all pay attention. Y'all pay attention. They're, um, they're killing all celebrities like every single day. Okay, and I'm talking your celebrities that you know, yeah, yeah, you, you know, whether you want to say Hollywood, they all don't live in Hollywood, but whether you want to say your yeah, your industry Hollywood type of celebrities, or you want to talk about, you got a lot of people who are internet famous. They are killing off these very popular celebrities um, who who are internet famous as well, who have become very rich and very prominent, you know, big time celebrities online. I'm seeing TikTok. Insta uh, from TikTok celebrities to Instagram models and celebrities to um, like all kinds of people on all different types of platform, even big YouTubers and different things. These per all type of persons are dying. A comedian just died. What they call him? He was like his name is like um, damn it, it's like Biggie B or 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 something like that. Um. I am um, not too, too familiar with him, but we know of him. But these persons, the fact of the matter is, is these persons die off all the freaking time. Okay? Christy Alley died, and not really many people said a word about it. And just because she hadn't been in a big, um, you know, on a, you know, in a big project. You know, Christy Alley that played in Look Who's Talking, and she, she did other things too, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of times, just because they happen to say, oh, this person died from natural causes, or they had a battle with cancer, and all this other kind of stuff, or whatever, these things just seem to bypass you, okay? Every other one, if they don't tell you it's a suicide, they end up mysteriously dying in, in a body of water, like a tub or something. Okay, if it's not that, then they claim that it, it was some type of uh, freak overdose or something like that, and it jumped out of a damn window or something like that. Okay, and randomly, they be like, all of a sudden, you didn't even know the person was sick. All of a sudden, oh, they done died of cancer or some shit. Like it, it, it's just crazy. They do it all the time. Just all of a sudden, out the blue, these people are just dying. That's bullshit. Okay. And with the money and different things that they have, we know that they have access to the best health care, okay? That doesn't mean that persons can't go through anything, okay? And life just can't happen, in, you know, to a person. But the fact of the matter is, a lot of this shit be cover stories, bruh. This be what they want to tell you, okay? But anyway, guys, y'all need to pay attention, okay? Because y'all got, y'all have no idea, just count them up. Just look them up. Look how many rappers they killed this year alone. Okay? It's like dangerous. Like you're on a hit list. Like if you are striving, desiring, eager to be a rapper, this that's just like the dumbest shit ever. It really is. 
And it's really sad because knowing this stuff, you can really shoot down a person's hopes, wishes, and dreams. But it doesn't mean stop doing what, you know you happy with doing what makes you happy or anything like that but it is telling you to try to go about it another route okay you don't have to be rich and you know ultra rich and famous you don't have to be a household name where the entire world knows your name okay that shit comes with a whole lot like yeah, you there's a lot that you gotta do and a, a big old price that you gotta pay to have that type of a pull okay People, you, you live more humbly doing things and you will live longer. Trust me. But they're killing these people off. And if you notice, it's like they have gotten in a hurry. They're dying back to back to back to back to back. Just out of, all of a sudden, out the blue, just randomly. No damn reason at all. All of a sudden, that comedian guy... He was shot. They say he was shot outside of a damn grocery store. You can't even go to the grocery store without being shot. He was a comedian. He made people laugh, for goodness sakes. Okay? It's, it's, it's crazy. It's ridiculous. Okay? And, yeah. There's a lot of people who being knocked off for speaking the truth. Okay? A lot of people who being knocked off for bringing uh, 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 clarity to situations. Okay? Why? Because all these sellouts, they don't want, they, it, it amazes me because they put the truth in plain sight. But if you talk about what the hell it is you see, the truth that's right in plain sight, they get mad and they want to attack you. But you're the one who put it in plain fucking sight. You just wanted people, you wanted to be able to bamboozle people by putting the truth in plain sight. And you wanted them to be dumb, brainwashing, dumb down and not see it. So you can laugh in their damn face and say, oh, what's in your face all alone? We knew, you know, but if you talk about it, they attack you. You understand what I'm saying? This is the wicked ass world that we live in. Okay. And people are dying every day just by living in the truth. Okay. And it's all to feed the demons. That's in power. Okay. Alright guys, peace, love, and light. Namaste.